The police are continuing to continuing to follow up on leads after yesterday's robbery at the Elmira Savings Bank in Big Flats. The suspect got away with an undisclosed amount of cash and today neighbors are still on edge. WNY's Tanja Racy met with investigators today and joins us now with the latest. Tanja. Candace and Ben, we have seen a few bank robberies over the past couple months that are causing some concern. However, Sheriff Moss doesn't think what we're seeing is copycat syndrome. In fact, he isn't linking last night's robbery to the past three that have already been solved. It's a place we go to have our money or valuables stored away in a safe place. But as of late, workers and customers have reason to feel a little unsafe. Banks here in the southern tier have been targets for robberies. One suspect, 24-year-old Tracy White, is in police custody after three robberies dating back to November. White is accused of holding up the Finger Lakes Healthcare Credit Union in Elmira twice. Then, he allegedly took to the Elmira Savings Bank on Church Street in January. The latest crime, described as a strong arm robbery, is at the Elmira Savings Bank in Big Flats. The suspect, captured by security cameras, a white male wearing a hat, about 40 years old, wearing blue jeans and a green jacket. Despite the recent instances, Shimon County Sheriff Christopher Moss doesn't think it's copycat syndrome. I mean, you could have an individual here that didn't know about the other three robberies, and you have to remember the other three have been solved. So, I mean, obviously this is an independent one. We'll follow up the leads and uh, find out who's involved. The suspect was seen running from an area hotel. They didn't have anyone fitting the description staying at Candlewood Suites. Unfortunately, it's been um, pretty tragic with the, the few that they've had in downtown Elmira and now this one. Um, it does put everybody on guard a little bit more. Um, fortunately, though, um, we do have surveillance cameras at the hotel. Um, all the staff have been trained on what to do in case of a situation like that. So we hope that we're, we're prepared if, if the, the event does occur. Sheriff Moss says security cameras are a good idea. Clothing, height, weight, and vehicle descriptions, license plate number, and direction of travel are helpful too if you can get it. However, he says the most important thing is to follow directions so no one gets hurt. And again, you can give tips to the Criminal Investigation Division at 737-2933. Tanjareki, WNY News.